Thank you very much. Uh, the talk, as you just heard, is entitled Standardize Your Flash with Adobe OSMF, Open Source Media Framework. Briefly about myself, my name is R. Blank. I am CTO of Almer Blank. We're an Adobe solution partner based in Venice Beach, California, providing Flash platform application development solutions to Fortune 500 uh, clients. I'm also training director at the Rich Media Institute. We provide specialized workshop training, both live and online, at our facilities here in Toronto and Los Angeles and through our website at richmediainstitute.com. I've also written numerous articles and a book uh, for and teach at USC, Adobe, Friends of Ed, Opera, um, and, and others. That's enough about me into today's topic. OSMF is pretty new, so I thought I'd begin with a brief description of what it actually is. Stated simply, OSMF is a framework for creating flash-based media experiences. What does that mean? Well, I've tried to illustrate it in terms of its role uh, within the Flash platform and the content development workflows that we all use. So there's a delivery platform, which I've abstracted to Flash, but includes Air um, and all the Flash-supported runtimes. We use a set of creation tools, now including Flash Catalyst, and the newly renamed Flash Builder, but of course Flash CS4, to publish to that delivery platform. When we use those creation tools, we aggregate a lot of content, UI symbols, movie library symbols, components, uh, as we see pictured on the left, and media, as we see pictured on the right. And we combine those using code, right, again, in our creation tools to publish for our platform. Now, for a few years, we've had something called an application development framework, which we all know as Flex, which is not, as, as I think most of you understand, it's not a separate technology from Flash or ActionScript 3. It's a framework that sits on top of it that makes application development easier. Well, just as we've had Flex for the past several years, now we are getting the OSM framework, the open source media framework, also from Adobe, this time to help out with what I've pictured here on the right, our media requirements when we build our Flash applications. When we take the definition of what's an application and what uses media, we're looking at the vast majority of Flash work. Right? This is the vast majority of experiences that we use Flash to create. And now OSM is filling a big gap in that. Right? So for years, we've had a framework to help us with application development. Now we have one to help with media handling. So now we'll hone in on OSM. So as I said, it's a framework. What that means, if you're unfamiliar with using frameworks, is it's effectively just a bunch of code that we can use out of the box. If you're not used to using frameworks, right, the benefits of a framework are to accelerate and to standardize your development, as I hope to show you, as OSMF does in the case of media. OSMF is, as it's called, a media framework, but where I think it'll have its most immediate impact is in terms of video. Uh, and all the sample files that I'm referring to are all video-based. But as you'll see as I walk through the concepts and the code on the screen, that it doesn't actually matter what type of media you're working with. So why is video so significant? Well, there's a huge amount of video on the web these days. Every site that you go to, almost, now has a flash video player. Some are very popular, widely used, like the Hulu player and the YouTube player, maybe some less so, some that you've built. I know that I've built a lot of video players, and I know that people I've trained have built a lot of video players, and I know that no two really are ever built the same way. And this is a problem in terms of, first, the amount of time it takes you as a developer to create a new video player. It shouldn't take that long if you've already built it. But more than that, there's no standards. That makes it really hard to monetize or to create feeds that will power multiple video players, to create standards that would apply to multiple video experiences. We have Flash being used for a huge amount of web video, but we also have a very fractured experience on the web, both from the user's perspective and the developer's perspective. And from the user's perspective, Right? We have players where keyboard shortcuts work and in other ones where they don't. We have players where certain controls are available and in other ones where they're not. We have a tremendous fragmentation of experience. So this slows down the engineers, this increases production costs for content distributors, and it confuses users. Thus, implementing a standard framework for the creation of these media-rich Flash platform experiences has a lot of potential benefit for the entire world of digital content. 
So just as Flex has helped standardize, accelerate uh, application development, what I think we used to call RIAs, but I haven't heard that term in, in a little while, that's what OSMF is to media, an ActionScript 3 framework to standardize the creation of media-heavy experiences, media delivery experiences on the Flash platform. The files for this talk are written for Sprint 10. Sprint 11 has just come out. Um, so I'll be updating files again for Sprint 11. Finally, 1.0, what they're calling 1.0, is scheduled, I believe, for some time in May or June. So that would, that would be, I think, Sprint 12, which will correspond to 1.0. Also, I want to clarify that this really is, at this point, just a coding framework. There are no GUI components. There's nothing you can drag on from the components panel and just make a video player with. That is likely coming. If you use the FLV playback component inside of Flash Now, that is not the open source media framework. That's a new version of the old FLV playback component. Uh, but of course, there's nothing stopping you from building your own components, your own visual GUI components using OSMF. So that's what OSMF is. That's the role it fills. Now I want to cover its capabilities before I get into some quick samples. So what are OSMF's capabilities? Stated generally, to load, play, and display media. That is what OSMF exists for, to load, play, and display media. What are the supported media types? Well, as you see, there are a lot. Anything that Flash can load and play and display, OSMF can load and play and display. So natively, this is without writing your own funky byte array classes or anything like that. Natively, we have MP3 for streaming, MP3, AAC, Speaks, Nelly Moser, streaming video, FLV, F4V, MP4, MPEG4, M4V, F4V, 3GPP, and so on. You see there's a lot of media types, and right? I don't need to read them all. The, the slides will be posted. And of course, Swift files, right? Because uh, Swift files are media. In essence, every Flash supported media type. In terms of delivery, OSMF has implemented quality of service APIs in the Flash player, DRM, or digital rights management, in the Flash player, um, and HTTP streaming in the Flash player. They've implemented support for F4M on uh, the, the Flash Media Manifest files on the server, as well as DVR functionality. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play with any of the DVR functionality in OSMF, but you'll see as you work your way through the AS docs that they've built in support for DVR delivery uh, inherent in the framework. So there's classes for DVR streaming as opposed to RTMFP streaming. And there's a whole uh, assortment of standards that Adobe has integrated support for in OSMF. I, none of these, well, Smile I've actually used, but none of the other ones I've had a chance to use. But Video Ad Serving Template, Media Abstract Sequencing Template, Media RSS, Distribution Format Exchange Profile. These are perhaps media standards that, that you might have experience with. Certainly many of your clients will know what these are, and now we have support for them inside of the Flash Player. Another capability of OSMF that I want to highlight before moving into the code is its support for plugins, which you can write on your own or you can secure from third parties. Even though OSMF is still in beta, there are a wide number of plugins available. There's a, an RSS media reader that you can, that you can uh, load up as a plugin. I believe that one's done by Akamai, so you can just point your player to an RSS feed and that will then serve as a playlist for your OSMF media player. There's a plugin for closed captioning. There's a plugin for Akamai CDN integration. So if you're building a streaming video player to run off of Akamai, they have a plugin already built for that. The architecture of OSMF supports these plugins that bring additional functionality that make it just much easier for you to just find the plugin that does what you need. It's like warning a WordPress site. You find the plugin that does what you need, you upload it, and now all of a sudden your site works. So OSM, I just wanted to reiterate, I don't cover plugins in this uh, talk because that uh, loading a plugin is it's sort of its own little uh, endeavor, but I'll be posting some tutorials on that in a few months.